It's end of the season, as you guys know, with some of the content that's been coming out lately, and it's the Conqueror Artifact Companion. So I thought, why not throw this in for the first time? Because in the probability table, we've got the Gilded Crossbow, Spirit Bone Talk, which I would like, I'm not going to lie, Mirage Orb, which would be new, which would be kind of cool for our marchers, and then everything else that's in here. We don't care about everything else, but those are the ones that we do want. Shadow Blades, we've already got five tier, five Dragon Rift, five Solon's Blade, five. And anything else, I'm not too bothered about. Maybe the Wolf Woman of Halo, we don't have it, but I'm not a Cav main, so I really don't care. But I do want one of the top three here, right? Um, so this is going to be 15,000 gems, as you guys know, and you are guaranteed a legendary every 10 draws. So technically, for free to play players, for the low spenders, this is the best way of getting artifacts. It's 15k gems. Comparing it to a lot of the other areas still in the game, even though you could be lucky with the Forge of Light events and so on, this is a guarantee, right? So this is where a lot of players have been always saying, go for it. So why not? We're going to draw one. We're going to keep doing it 10 times. Let's see if we are actually lucky, right? So let's do this. First one, epic, nothing too shabby, spirit bangle going into the next one. Hopefully we get even some decent, you know, um, I wouldn't say scrap, but like if it is one of the legendaries I don't want on my account, I hope it's like a Shadow Blades, right? Because at least then I can use that Shadow Blades for purposes, you know, I can use it to upgrade a future artifact to a six star, for example, right? If it's something like, you know, the Kingslayer, it wouldn't be too bad, but, you know, it is what it is. It's not looking too good. I'm not going to be honest. I've got four pulls left already. Four pulls left. <laughs> oh, and I might hit the pit here because sometimes you can hit a legendary before, and if you do hit a legendary before, you are going to get basically a second legendary. So it's like really nice to get that. So it's not looking good, guys. We're dropping down. Here we go. Hitting the pity timer definitely on the 12. Remain attempts 11. Here we go. Legendary pity. Now, this is where you guys come in. What do you reckon we've got? Put in a comment down below right now. What legendary artifacts you think this is going to be? And then once we click it, edit your comment, put another thing just below and say that you was wrong. It's cool. You know, we'll see. But let's see if it's worth it. Fucking King Slayer. I said it. I jinxed it. I actually jinxed it, man. I said it would be Kingslayer, and it's Kingslayer. And you know what? It does turn my Kingslayer, though, maxed out. So, boom. Level 5 Kingslayer for my, my cavalry. So, whatever cavalry march I run out now, I could choose to give him the march speed bonus, right, from Soul and, and with the Sword Oath. Or I could go for the big damage and try and execute um, enemies with 10% uh, less units, right? So maybe that might be the video. If you guys want it, you know, sneaky, try and make a montage using <laughs> Royal Punishment. We will try and do that. But we've got that on the account there. Nothing too shabby. Looking at the artifacts on my account now, if you guys are wondering, not too bad either. We've got everything I actually want on the account. I kind of just now... And this is what I've been thinking about saving my gems for. I'm going to be honest. Thinking about saving my gems as much as possible now just for Forge of Light events. Because the thing is, the next step for me, my, my heroes are pretty good. They're pretty solid. I know I've got a good foundation. I've got T5 unlocked now, so I'm just working on my troop count. And um, my war pets are slowly coming along. And I know what I'm going to be doing for my war pets. So that's not too shabby. But when it comes to these artifacts, you can see it's a level one rattle spear. Same with the gold crest, it's level one. Gilded crossbow, level one. My Kamasi is level two, which ain't too shabby. And same with my Vilo's bow being level two. So they're, they're not too shabby being on that front. But for myself, I am trying to think of, I want to unlock like the rattle spear and max this by out. By out. Um, I do, it sounds crazy, but I really want to max out Viola's Bow and Heart of Kamase. I think these are the three artifacts for me 
that I think are actually going to be the most impactful artifacts for archers. The reason why I'm saying that is this is a defense break with a defense mitigation involved, which is really powerful for future defense break artifacts, you know, archers, so I say, right? Heart of Kamasei is amazing for Maximum Legions because this just allows you to buff two Maximum Legions like your Magzays and any future passive-based or normal attack-based archers, they're going to get buffed up. And then Violas Bow, I think, is just one of the most underappreciated arch artifacts. The amount of HP this gives you is absolutely unreal. And if you actually have this off auto cast, charge it up, get it ready. Once you see those, you know, infantry mains running in, as you know they're going to be running in, guys, you have this ready. And you can just fire it up instantly because you know they're going to be using their mocking chorus. And that actually cancels them, right, for 10 seconds. And that is brutal. Same with people using freezing rings. They can run in right now with freezing rings, and you can counter that if you have this prepared. So I do think these three are insanely strong. The reason why I'm not too keen about maxing Gilded Crossbow or Gold Crest, Gold Crest I don't like because of the Fragar restriction. It's a really good single target artifact, but I don't like the restriction. Thing with crossbow is this mitigation is really really powerful. That's what makes this artifact really good when you max it out. However, one thing that I will always say in the game, it's easy to find better and better damage artifacts. It's harder to find the tank artifacts, the supportive artifacts, and the utility based ones. Those ones are what actually shift the meta. And in the long run, in games like Rise of Kingdoms and Call of Dragons, matter, stat buffing, debuffing, utility, all of that actually matters compared to just raw damage, which we're currently at in the stage of the Call of Dragons kind of life cycle of the gameplay, right? So I'm aiming for these three, right? As you can see with that. So hopefully we're going to get in. Hopefully you understand now um, the aim for the account with the archers hopefully you enjoy the forge of light uh where well, forge of light the conqueror artifacts companion at end of season we weren't too lucky but we did max out the king slayer which is nice and maybe we six star this just to get it finished so it's all completed like all the others and then we've got one artifact down who knows um but if you've enjoyed the video smash like comment and subscribe and until the next one guys stay safe stay sneaky peace out